<sighs> what is the distributive property? A question I get all the time by my students. Well, the distributive property is just a um, special way for us to do multiplication. Hopefully that answer is for you. Thanks. All right, you're not gonna let me get by that much, that quickly, are you? Um, well, the distributive property is not really a very common question I get. Um, a lot of students kind of think they understand it, but a lot of them forget it, or when we, it's um, shown in a different way, they're like, I, I don't understand it. So let's just go back through uh, the distributive property, and we'll, I'll use some arbitrary terms, first of all. And then what I'll do is I'll just kind of give you a little bit of examples and ways that um, we can alter or use the distributive property. So the main distributive property in the most common form is it states that a times in parentheses b plus c means that a times b plus a times c. Because what you can see is I have my variable, it's being multiplied by parentheses inside the parentheses b plus c. So therefore, that means I, mean to, I need to multiply my a times my b and my a times my c. Now, what I was saying a lot of students get it mixed up with is because it doesn't matter where a is. a could be on the other side as well. And that's still going to be a plus b times a times c. Or, you know, we could even write it as ba plus ca. But since it's multiplication, it doesn't matter which one you multiply first, b or the a or a times b, right? Um, the other way that we can write it is distributive property also works if you're subtracting b and c. So it doesn't matter if you're adding or subtracting, you're still going to get it, except now you're going to do a times b minus a times c, because a times a negative c is going to be a negative number. Um, and it also works the same thing if you had b minus c times a you'd still get BA minus CA. Now, a couple other ways that uh, students get caught up with this is A can be negative, all right, A can be positive. So one, I'll uh, show you kind of two tricks that uh, students make, commonly make mistakes, is they, make, they don't know what to do when it's a negative A uh, times B plus C. Well, negative A times B is a negative AB and negative a times c is a negative ac. So it's just going to change their operations, or uh, just the signs a little bit. And the last thing is students, OK, they say, all right, I got two terms. This makes sense. But then what happens if I have something like this, um, b plus c plus d? They're like, well, what, then what do I do then? It's the same thing. The distributive property states when you're multiplying, you distribute that to multiplying it to every single term inside the parentheses. So therefore, in this final one, I'm going to have a times b plus a times c plus a times d. And that's going to be uh, a final solution. So hopefully that gives you a pretty good idea of what the distributive property is. Thanks.